Welcome back once again uh, to the cards studio. Uh, continue to go through all these cards that we had in storage. We already started this box, I think yesterday or the day before. Did the 50s and 61 and 1962 cards that we had found. We are now going to go through the 63 Fleer and then whatever else is behind here. And then we also have a 63 Tops run to go through as well. So we're going to have a couple of different videos here. But uh, this will start with the 1963 Fleer set. Uh, which is one of the earliest clear sets and uh, had some spectacular players in it. And then there's some other stuff just tucked behind it here. So 63 Fleer, this is the design. And let's see what kind of players that we find in here. Anybody, uh, there's some here marked $7 already. Uh, Lou Clinton, Jim Landis, Dave Steinhouse, Dick Farrell, Billy O'Dell, Dick Donovan, Chuck Cottier, Vic Power. Must have been traded. They've crossed the uh, name out on that one. Art Mahaffey, Vern Law, Clay Darwimple, Ruben Amaro, Al Jackson, Joe Amalfitano. Some duplicates in here. Don Lee, Frank Larry, Lou Clinton again. Milt Pappas, Baltimore Orioles pitcher. It's card number three of the Fleer 1963, if you want to look that one up. And Al Jackson, we saw. So it looks like it's just some random uh, Norm Seaburn. It was marked $8, marked down to seven, card number 17 of the 1963 Fleers. I'm sure there were other uh, stars and rookies. Uh, I'm not sure if there's Mantles or Hank Aarons or whatever within the set. Uh, this group here just doesn't have it. These are just like commons to help fill out a set. So if you're trying to put a 63 Fleer set together and you can't find these, I know where they're at now. Put these off to the side here, see what was behind it. This look like some modern, well, no, here we go. Uh, 1960, 62, Louis Rapparicio, uh, Whitey Ford, Jim Bunning, that's 62, 62, uh, Jim Brewer, Jim Brewer, Baltimore Orioles, a couple of team cards at $12 a piece, Joe Adcock, Willie Tasby, Tito Francona, Terry Francona's dad. I, we saw some of those earlier in the previous video. Uh, Willie Davis with the Los Angeles Dodgers, Dodgers team sets. Some of these cards uh, look like we've been through them. I wonder if I just stuck those in the back there. Interesting, okay, well, we'll tuck those back in. That might've just been part of what we pulled out from the previous uh, time we went through it. Uh, 63, so this is the 63 tops design. We'll go through those uh, here in a little bit. Actually, we can go through now, we got some time. I'll try to keep this video under 10 minutes. Uh, since the 63 Fleers were so quick and not exciting, we can get right into it. We'll start here with a uh, rack pack. It says 88 whack, rack pack with Williams and Wells on the front. So it was taped shut, but it has, uh, must be a Matt Williams, which I can see there, and a David Wells card on it. So we'll set that aside. We can open those some other time. Let's see some of the 63s here. Eddie Lopat, Ray Washburn. Norm Sherry, card number 316. Joe McLean with the Senators, 311. Let's see who else we can find in here. Anybody? Larry Jackson. Marv Thornberry with the New York Mets, 78. is a card number on that. Mostly commons, uh, lower number cards here, it looks like. Gordy Coleman. Cincinnati Reds, number 90. There's a checklist, Series 1, but it's all marked up. Bobby Wine, Hank Aguirre. It was a Detroit Tigers pitcher, card number 257. Tito Francona, there's uh, another Francona card. We have the 61, the 62, and now the 63. We wanted to put a group together. Earl Francis, Pittsburgh Pirate pitcher, Pittsburgh Pirate pitcher number 303 on the card set. 1963 Tops. Don Maxwell, another checklist, Series 3, Series 1. This one's not marked as far as any kind of markings on the card itself, which is what people did to mark off the cards they had. Uh, so it's near mint condition. It had a $9 price tag on it for the Series 1 checklist from the card shop back in the day. You can look it up now and see what that value is. Uh, looks like a neat one. There's Milt Pappas. There's a Series 3 checklist, not marked as well, for 1963 tops. Here's Boston Red Sox, team card. There's a Series 4 checklist, not marked, very cool. Haywood Sullivan, Georgia Altman, 
see if there's any uh, superstar rookies or anybody in here that we find. Bauman, Russ Nixon. So Series 2 checklist, Mark $9, not marked on. A couple of those. So if you need the checklist for your sets that aren't marked, got them right here. Here's another Series 1, but this one has the marks on it. They use pencil on that one. So uh, some are marked, some aren't. Got quite a few duplicates. Okay, Rookie Stars. And this is for 1963. We have Ray Culp, the Philadelphia Phillies, John Boozer, the Phillies, Jesse Gonder of the Cincinnati Reds, and Sammy Ellis of the Cincinnati Reds. So a 63 rookie card, number 29. It's not Pete Rose. Pete Rose, rookie, was from this set. Uh, Kansas City Athletics team card, 397, 1963. See what else we can find here. Uh, Ron Klein, Alvin Dark, Ellis Burton. Uh, here's Casey Stingle and Gene Wooding. So veteran masters, card number 43. Los Angeles Angels team card, number 39, was marked $4. Ralph Terry, New York Yankees, card number 315, pretty nice shape. Sam McDowell, Gene Mock, Bo Belinsky. See Hector Lopez, Jake Gibbons, Fred, uh, Fred Whitfield, Cleveland Indians, tops all star rookie card number 211. 1963, Dick Williams, Boston Red Sox. I wonder if that's the Dick Williams, uh, card number 328. Chuck Ezigan, Cleveland Indians outfielder, number 103. Jim Grant, Cleveland pitcher, number 227. And then some more. 1963 rookies. Here we have Deacon Jones of the White Sox, John Wojcik of the Athletics, Peter Jurgen of the Red Sox, and Len Gabrielson of the Braves. And that's card number 253 for rookies from 1963. Humpsey Green. Let's see, Gene Wooding again. Leon Wagner for the Los Angeles Angels, number 335. Dean Chance, Pete Runnels. Uh, another $9 marked price on the checklist series two unmarked. So it's a near mint checklist. Here's a series three marked up and a series three marked up. Charlie Lau, Baltimore Orioles catcher, number 41 on the card number. About halfway through the 63s. We'll keep going here. We'll get this thing knocked out. It's a lot of fun here so far for me. Hope you're enjoying it. Be sure to subscribe as we have tons more to go through. We'll have other collectibles that we'll take a look at. And every time we post it, you have a chance to be notified. Here's a card number 79 again. That's first series unmarked checklist. I'm hoping there's a shortage of those because I have cornered the market on them for the unmarked series one checklist. 1963 tops. Pete Burnside, Chico Cardenas, Al Smith, Lou Johnson, Bill Stafford, and Bill Pierce, series foes, the Yankees and the Giants, card 331. Philadelphia Phillies team set, number 13. Tiger... Twirlers, Frank Larry, Don Mossy, and Jim Bunning. A couple of those in a row. That's card number 218. Roy Severs, Hank Aguirre again. Billy Smith's a few in a row. Frank Malzone, Boston Red Sox third baseman, number three, uh, 232. Sherm Lawler, number 118. Lee May again. I think we had that before, card 109. All right, a couple more handfuls here. We'll be done. Hopefully there's some more rookies in here. Joe Cunningham, White Sox. Checklist all marked up. Doc Edwards, Pumpsy Green again. Don Hoke, Philadelphia Phillies third baseman, number 305. Jim Brewer, Chicago Cubs, number 309 from 1963. Carl Swatsky, card number 267. Orlando Pena, pitcher for the Kansas City Athletics, number 214. Tony Gonzalez, not the football player. Vic Power, Minnesota Twins, number 40. Johnny Pesky, Boston Red Sox manager, number 343. Vic Wirtz, I think we did that one, 348. And a couple more here, and we'll be done with the 1963s. Ah, in an earlier box, we found some 1982s. We went through those. All right, here's the 63 stars again, uh, rookie stars with Deacon Jones again. That was card 253, so we have a couple of those. Here's another one with Deacon Jones, so we have three of those to card 253. 
Here's a 63 stars, rookies, Walt Wolf, Colt 45s, Ron Taylor of the Cardinals, Ron Herbal of the Giants, and John Miller of the Orioles. That's card 208. So rookie stars number 208. Checklist marked up, marked up. He would Sullivan. Just some guys. Another checked list that's checked. Johnny Pesky again, 343. Alvin Dark. Here's a Chicago Cubs team card. It was marked 450 back in the day. It's card number 222. And this will be our last handful of the 63s here. Put these here so those don't fall. And we have uh, Charlie Maxwell, number 86. Terry Fox, number 44. A couple of the Terry Foxes. Chico Fernandez, Tigers, 278. Another checklist. Barry Sheraton with the Centers, 276. And another Series 1 checklist on Mark. This one's a little more off-center. So uh, certainly, if you need one, I've got them. Ron Fairley, 105 again. And that appears to be the 1963. There's a Choo Choo Coleman of the New York Mets. He was the catcher, number 27 on the card. So that's 1963 tops. Uh, pretty interesting. A few rookie cards. A couple of people uh, went on to become managers. Uh, some names that uh, were recognized. And so far, we've got through the 1950s up to 1963. That leads me to believe there's some 64s, 5s, 6s, 7s in some of these boxes somewhere. We haven't found them yet. But stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe. That way we can let you know when we find things. Uh, also, in the last video, we found uh, this Beanie Baby Mystic from 1993. Uh, super high value, somewhere from $250 to $600 is what they're selling for on eBay. I'll have to verify that that's actually what this one is. It does have the 1993 uh, copyright on the tag and it does say 1994 birth date on the uh, ear tag. It does have the fancy horn, different than the others, and these are the yarn. Uh, main that as mentioned in some of the eBay listings. So pretty excited about that from the last box. And of course, the King Griffey Jr. rookie we found. Well, thanks for tuning in. Join us next time and we will talk to you soon. Uh, it's uh, time to keep collecting uh, during COVID here. Something to do and I'm glad I found my boxes.